Hey guys, it's New Life for Jen, or Jen. Today is um, Wednesday, November 30th, 2011. And I'm coming on today to give my week 36 and 37 update. Um, I won't be around on Friday to do... Okay, no, sorry, this is my little baby. Um, I won't be around on Friday to do my update. So I'm going to just do it now, and I didn't do one because of the Thanksgiving week, and just because I did a crazy amount of videos due to the unfill and the fill and the back, and so I just didn't even do another one that last week. So here's where we're at. Today is, um, Friday would be week 37 for me. Last week was week 36. Um, I went up t two pounds after the first unfill and then last Friday I was back down to 159.2 that's the lowest I've ever seen and like today I got on there and I was 161.4 so weight's kind of just bouncing around in between those two numbers consistently um, my calorie count has been anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred so that's where my calories are. So, of course, that's a big increase from what I was getting before at restriction. So, that is why I am guessing I am now maintaining instead of losing, which is fine. <clears throat> at this point, um, I've went through so many different things of trying to figure out what is wrong with me. Um, trying to totally rule out lap band as an issue and then making sure that it is just strictly a back issue and not a lap band issue. Um, so Monday I'm supposed to go back down for another um, barium and he's going to decide then if I need to be checked for H. pylori, which I don't know if anybody on here has ever had that. Um, I guess it's a bacteria that gets in your stomach. Um, you get it from touch. I guess everybody has it in them, and it's just if it gets activated. Um, I've looked online. I don't think that's what it is, but here's my deal. Before my chiropractor puts me in through more or less a pain management program for my back, that's going to require MRIs and other things like that. So with my lap band being a self-pay, I need to make sure that I've totally ruled out anything that could possibly be wrong with the band. So he wants to do an endoscope or the scope um, as well. So I'm going to go back down on Monday, do another barium. Um, he wants to make sure everything's good again, and then he wants to make a decision on whether I need to have the scope done. Um, like I said, I'm doing this as preventive, um, measures due to if my back stuff progresses into more expensive stuff on my health insurance, I don't want them going back and saying, hey, it's a lap band. And I just want to walk in there and be like, hey, I've been to the chiropractor. He's referring me to the pain management. And like he told me today, pain management's automatically going to order an MRI. So that's, you know, a couple grand. And, you know, when they do the MRI, they're going to find the lap band, and I have to make sure my bases are covered, that I've taken care of the lap band part on my own. So, at first I was kind of freaked out with the whole scope thingy, and I was like, you know what, that's fine. Take the scope down there, check everything out, make sure my band is good inside and out, you know, because the barium's only going to check to make sure it's placed in the right way. It's not going to check inside of it. So... Just going through a lot of back and forth mental things. Um, but I haven't let that detour me away from trying to stay as much on task with my food choices, my water. Um, if anything, I can drink a lot more water with my band not being as restricted. Um, <clears throat> my vitamins are much easier to take. There's a lot of things that's more easier to do and accomplish when you're not at restriction. Um, I can eat my protein faster, I get my meals down faster. Granted, I have to watch my portion control because I can e still eat a lot more. So the last fill I got really didn't do anything. Um, I'm at <clears throat> 2.5 cc's in my 4 cc band. So, 
you know, a little over 50% filled, and it's still kind of like I have nothing there. Um, but there's so many advantages to it not being as restricted. Um, my life's a lot more easier. I mean, having my band restricted, it made my life a lot more time constrained. Or time, there was so many more time constraints on everything. And I learned at that point that food was fuel because I was at restriction and I wasn't eating because it was stress or fun or a reward. I was eating because I knew I had to, to take care of my body. Well, now I can kind of feel, you know, that reward eating wanting to come back. Oh, I've done so good. I've been so stressed and hey, you know, my back's hurt and I need to stay extra healthy. You know, just whatever mental excuse you come up with to feed yourself more is what you start doing. So I'm trying to keep those as blocked out as possible. Um, Thanksgiving went well. I mean, I ate things, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a cookie fanatic. That's what I was before. So, you know, I probably ate a couple more cookies that I should have or whatever. But it was all fine and dandy. I actually got on the scale after Thanksgiving and it went I was down at 159. So I'm thinking that this adjustment in calories, my body's probably learning to adjust to it. Maybe I will start losing, you know, after another couple weeks of being at this calorie count, or I might just still maintain. If it gets to the point where I start gaining with doing the same things I'm doing, then I probably would go get another fill. But at this time, my back is just a mess. It's all centralized in the middle of my back. Um, from what the doc is saying is soon it, like, I can go to bed at night and it'll be in severe pain. I wake up and it's better. And so what he's saying is that while I'm sleeping, my back's decompressing, the stress is coming off of it, and then I wake up feeling better. But by the time the day progresses, the sitting, standing, whatever, walking, is, is just pissing it off. And he's saying that I'm not going in enough, that I need to be in there three, four times a week so he can continue to get it to be better. And to me, that is a time issue. I don't have time to schedule around his schedule because he has very weird hours. One day he's open in the morning, one day he's open in the afternoon, one day he's not open at all. So it's very hard for me to stick to what he wants me to do. Now, he does have me on a lot of stretching, yoga-style stuff to help loosen up my vertebrae and it's not a muscle issue in my back it's not the muscle surrounding my cartilage or any of that it is strictly in my bones it is in my joints in between my center vertebrae so he said there's like 15 in there and all 15 of them are just they get inflamed I have to do ice treatments every one to two hours if I can do it. I've, you know, I've already explained to him that's almost impossible for me. I pretty much have to have an ice pack strapped to me 24-7. So I do that when I can to help with the pain. That's what I'm sitting on now. Um, and it does help. It helps put the pain at ease. Another problem I had, you know, I had to call the my lap band doctor, Dr. Watkins, and tell him, you know, is it okay for me to be taking... He wants me on 1,800 milligrams of either ibuprofen or taking two Aleve a day. Well, I know Aleve and me and naproxens don't mix, even before lap band. It really upset my stomach, so I can't do those anymore. So I've been taking 800 milligrams of ibuprofen three times a day. Lap band doctor said that's fine as long as I am drinking it with milk, and then after I drink... Make sure I flush it through really good to where it's in my normal stomach and then to eat afterwards so I'm not getting upset. So that's increased my meals per day. Um, I wasn't a big breakfast eater before. I'd grab yogurt or something small, so that's why my calories have been up because I've been trying to adjust the food to the, the meds. Um, I'm not prepared to go on to anything stronger yet, which would be like a Vicodin and a Flexoreal pill. Um... But that's what's going to happen if he can't get this figured out. And so I've got two more weeks of chiropractor, and if not, it's going to be on to pain management. And that is going to be therapy and injections of, I'm not really exactly sure yet, into my back. So that is my weekly update. I am maintaining. I am happy about that. Um, that's as good as it can get for me right now, and I'm, I'm very happy. 
Um, I appreciate all the inboxes I got on Facebook checking up on me, and I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you guys later. Bye.